This race lived in heaven, as heaven to them was and is the ever divine principle and harmony within the human form, which is the mind called God. From this word, knowing its divine origin and precepts, every divine condition does come to humanity. This divine, just and perfect law or Lord reigns throughout the entire universe. You now see it through the entire solar system, but we know that it is just as positive, just as positive throughout the entire human kingdom, as well as in the plant, mineral, and animal kingdoms. During this chaotic disturbance, nearly all of those who had withdrawn from the greater group were destroyed. Those who were left of this group were obliged to seek shelter in caves and wherever they could find protection. Food became scarce, and just the matter of food became so pressing that a large percentage became cannibals. These conditions which they brought upon themselves and which not only separated them from the great group but from each other forced them to form tribes in order to exist, thereby causing them to forget all of their former knowledge and so they became nomads. These were the forefathers of that race which is called material. And, al and although this separation has carried on for well over a million years, there still remains something which may be called a half instinct through which they feel that they have been part of a divine plan. Many of these are fear fearlessly coming forth today and freely proclaiming their lordship and a portion have advanced to the point where they are entirely free from all bondage. Those who did not, those who did stand together in the great group went through all of these chaotic changes in perfect peace and composure without any loss of divinity, as they knew that divinity could never be lost or taken from them. For all this, they are in no way claiming any selectivity, neither do they claim any power above that which all can use. During the period this great civilization re reigned upon this earth, the great land areas, as well as the seas, were peaceful. There were no land or sea disturbances. The breezes were gentle and invigorating, and all of the people travelled at will wherever they wished, as there was no weight or conferences, no limitation of time or space. They thought in terms of eternity. All thoughts and words were put forth as divine precepts and to such divine purpose that they were firmly fixed and definitely recorded as precepts in, divi in divine mind. And these were the foundation and bulwark of a great reservoir that could be drawn upon for every supply, every action, and every undertaking. Thus, man had at hand a universal supply for every undertaking and every accomplishment. For all humanity was looked upon as God-man and the Trinity or completion or focal point was God, the conquering Christ, God-man, the, tr the Trinity, complete in all. There was not a negative word in the language 
Neither was there a word for a past or a word for the future. All was here and now and completely accomplished and finished.